Yeah, we uh, thought tonight, uh, obviously we played them uh, uh, pretty recent. And, uh, you know, one of our keys was, you know, contain, um, you know, Boogie and Isaiah. They had big games. We thought Rodman hurt us on the glass. Uh, at our place, it was Isaiah. Tonight, it was Boogie. Uh, he, he played a really good game, made some timely shots, big shots. Uh, our first half was probably one of the best first halves that we've played on the season offensively. We shared the ball, moved the ball, making nine threes. That was pretty big. Um, second half, we, we stayed there uh, back and forth, got a little bit of foul trouble. Um, but, you know, at the end of games, you know, certain teams make plays. Um, you know, fouled a couple jump shooters. Um, you know, uh, a couple plays that just didn't go our way. But you got to tip. Uh, we tip our hats to USC. Um, you know, we shot 34% from the field, 18 from three in the second half. And it was, you know, they, they're a very good defensive team. I think that's what's really turned around their season. Um, Morgan, great shot blocker. They've got physical, they've got size on the perimeter, and they, they pose a lot of problems. So uh, we tip our hats to, to USC. All right, anyone with questions, please raise your hand. We'll bring the microphone over to you. Remember to state your name and affiliation. Hey, Coach, it's a 65-65 a game with like four min minutes left there. Just what, what happened from like that point on? Oh, boy. <laughs> so. You gave me scrambled eggs. I feel like I'm over here like, whoa. Um, you know what? It was, uh, you know, I just, I just remember, you know, um, later in that, in that four minutes where, you know, it was still a two-possession game. It was five. And, uh, you know, I think there was a buck 32 left. And. We, you know, we got a steal. We came down and we, uh, we, we, we could have gone to the basket. I felt like we felt we, we lost our poise a little bit at the end of the game. There was a lot of time. We played like 130. There was 130 left in the game. We played like there was 22 seconds. And that was just it's a normal mentality sometimes. And we try to tell them poise, take the ball to the basket, see if we can go to the foul line, stop the clock. Um, but a couple plays here and there uh, just didn't go our way, Percy. But, uh, you know, kept fighting. Here, Kim. Keon, again, every tough loss, you come and face the music. We appreciate that. But uh, how tough was this week, knowing that Coach Hop got let go and you lose a game and your season's done? What was the kind of the mentality going into this game? Um, <clears throat> you know, hearing that news sucked, especially after coming off a big win against Wazoo. But um, after we heard the news, we, we wanted to come together and, and try to make a run. Unfortunately, you know, that didn't happen, but... <laughs> I'm proud of how we went out and competed and, and played. We played hard, just, you know, some stuff didn't go our way tonight, but that's how it goes. You're not going to win every game. You're not going to, you know, shoot well every game. You're not going to get every loose ball. But we, we played really, really hard, and, I, and I'm proud of that. Other questions? Rocco here in row three. Hey, Coach Hop, Rocco Miller here at Bracketeer.org. A uh, couple qu quick questions. Uh, your thoughts you know, on USC overall? I mean, clearly healthy finally. Your thoughts on their matchup tomorrow? Just a quick opinion. And then will you accept a bid to, to the NIT should they invite you? You know what? I uh, First part of your question, um, you know, USC, uh, you know, it's hard in a season for a lot of programs that have new players uh, to get the gel and uh, to figure out the combinations, <coughs> injuries, or so many different things that go into a season. Um, but they've, they've got a good chemistry now, and it seems like they have, they're playing better together. They're, they're really defending, uh, which you can see, and, and uh, you know, beating us at home and then beating uh, Arizona at home. That's a, you know, they've got some good momentum and starting to believe in what they're doing. Not that they didn't before, but on the outside, you see them really believing, and uh, that becomes very dangerous. I don't think our la league gets a lot of credit um, I think Arizona is, you know, top four teams in the country. Uh, we had a lot of teams that struggled early that are really, really good in league, like UCLA, uh, Cal. Um, this is, in my seven years, it's probably been the best top-to-bottom league. Uh, anybody can beat anybody on any given night, and that's what made this year so much fun. Um, uh, yeah, so the next game I, I'm going to have to watch, but uh, both teams are high level. They've got high-level talent. Um, both systems are really good, um, but you know certain guys are going to have to make some plays, and that will probably determine the difference. Um, if we get invited to the NIT, uh, you know I would like to play. Uh, you know.
know, it's, uh, but I, I think a big thing is going to be up to the guys, um, you know, wanting to go out there and compete. Uh, uh, that's, yeah, playing in the postseason is, is an honor, you know, for most. You know, not our standard, but the honor. Back to Kim here. Coach, we all know how passionate you are. Yeah. And I know this has just been kind of a, maybe a little bit of a tough week and a little bit of a relief as well. But uh, what's next for Coach Hop? Oof. Um, boys, I tell you, boys. Great places are made by having and being around great people. And I've been very lucky in my seven years at the University of Washington. Very blessed. He decided to come back. It's all about the people. Places are just places. Great people make great places. And we have great people. And the, the program, the athletic program that, that Jen Cohen helped build, the culture, the coaches all backing each other, Really, really special to be a part of that. She gave me a chance. Wish I had some more wins and losses, or more wins, less losses. But I'm really proud of getting through COVID, um, you know, getting kids, helping kids graduate, making a difference in their lives. That's what it's really about in college athletics. I'm emotional. I didn't, didn't want to cry, but it's just who I am. Like it or lump it. This guy, to see a guy, I told him, I said, the, and he's going to hate these for saying this, but I said, the biggest upset in your life, your whole life people said you're going to be one and done, two and done, and no one ever talked about you graduating. He's going to graduate, and he's going to get drafted. He's one of the most improved players, not just what I think if we had better, more wins, he'd been player of the year in the league. And to see the growth and the professionalism of this young man, the leadership has been just a joy. And like I told the group in there, we'll be connected for the rest of our lives. That's what makes being part of a team so special. And uh, yeah, I have no, I'm a, I'm a, a UW fan. Um, you know, I, I just be for the rest of my life, just given the opportunity and represent the university as best as I could. And so, uh, you know, thank you all for being great to me. Uh, Percy, Kim, Chris, Jen, Andy, Jam, Sammy, you know, it's been a great, it's been a great run. And I uh, just appreciate you being great people to me. Thank you. Good. One last one for Percy here. Oh, God. Come on, Percy. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. This is not for you. Let me roll out of here. <laughs> totally Let me roll out of here on a skateboard. For, like you, KB. You know, just maybe a, a word or, or two about your coach and just, um, I don't know, how tough or difficult was this sort of week, uh, kind of knowing everything that you know now? Um, <clears throat> it was extremely tough. Um, I love Coach Hop and, and the whole staff and, and everybody for giving me an opportunity to, to find myself again. You know, I came here and I wasn't the most confident and, and every day I just be walking around, Coach Hop, he just tell me, you're a beast. You're this, you're that. He just, he just kept, you know, pushing life and confidence back into me. And then it got to the point where I started to believe it again myself. And, um, you know, I owe everything to him and the staff and the support staff for always taking care of me every day. Um, you know, it, it, it sucks. You know, I, I wish it could have turned out differently, but, you know, everything happens for a reason. You, you learn from everything and, um, I'm I'm happy I decided to come here. I'm happy I decided to come back. Um, everything that, that that has happened here, I'm going to take with me the rest of my life. Um, one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Made some met some amazing people, and um, you know, like you said, we're going to be connected forever. But this man right here, I'll, I'll do anything for him. And um, 
man, I just can't say any more, man. I love him. I love everybody that's been a part of this, and, you know, yeah.